Now, you've done more than just being a manager on the outside of the ring. Behind the scenes, <clears throat> excuse me, you were instrumental in scouting talent and booking matches for many of the top promotions in the United States. Years and years ago, I saw an interview where you pegged Batista to be the next big star, and I've I got to say, you hit the nail on the head right there. But who are some of the young and up-and-comers today that catch your eye that can carry professional wrestling into the future? Well, you know, and once again, uh, I've, I've not tooted my own horn, but toot toot. Um, it, it wasn't hard, but I predicted, uh, The Rock. I predicted Randy Orton. I predicted John Cena. I predicted Batista. Trained, uh, all of them except The Rock in OVW here in Louisville, Ohio right. Valley Wrestling. Uh, because you could tell that they had the look, they had the talent, they had the, the desire. In some cases, they had all three. <laughs> Batista had the look. Cena had the look, desire, and talent. Uh, Orton had the look and the talent, not necessarily the desire at first, but there was always a combination of those things. You see where I'm going with this, man. Right. And uh, so it, it's not hard to predict who can be a star, but it's it's gotten hard to predict who's going to be a star these days because when you see a guy get tremendous reaction, like Daniel Bryan, you, you would think, yeah, and I've, I mean, I've always been a fan of his because he's been a great wrestler. He was unlikely to be a star in the WWE. He did not have the look or the size that Vince usually likes. Uh, but the fans took to him and made him that way, at least the ones that pay money to see the product. Um, you know, I, I look at uh, a lot of guys these days, and I guess I'm looking at, at guys like the, guy, the people who pay to see the product. I, I love Dolph Ziggler. He's another guy we trained in OVW. I think he's a talented kid. Love Daniel Bryan. You know, there's other guys that I that I think are great talents and could be stars, but whether they will be given the opportunity to remains to be seen because they don't fit into either the WWE definition of what a star is supposed to look like or possibly their, their mainstream, we're just going to watch on TV and, and you know are measured by your ratings section of fans thinks a star should be because that's what they've been told a star should look like. So it's it's not easy. Probably in a 25-minute interview, we're not going to solve that, that problem. 